Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new model in town, and it's called Marco 01. I am seeing a lot of hype about it on Twitter, and it is being compared to 01, Sonnet, and much more. So, let's talk about it and test it as well. But, before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, BurnCloud. BurnCloud allows you to get GPU computing servers at a very low cost and lets you save up to 50% on GPU computing servers. They have a bunch of options starting from just $1. So, if you're looking to train a model, fine-tune a model, or even run your own inference server, then BurnCloud could be the best and lowest cost option to run anything with amazing GPUs instantly. Check them out through the link in the description and get your own GPU computing server today. So, first of all, what's Marco 01? Well, it's a new model by Alibaba's machine learning team. Now, hearing that name, you'll say that Alibaba already has the Quen models. So, why is it not named something like Quen? Well, from what I understand, it's the same situation as Google's DeepMind and Gemini team. Like, DeepMind is their research team, and Gemini is their product and it's something similar here as well. But anyway, what is this model supposed to do? Well, this model is released as a part of a research paper that the Alibaba team did. It is basically an attempt to recreate the O1 model by OpenAI, and that's what they are trying to do here. They have prepared a data set focused on the chain of thought that they have also shared openly which means you can train your own model and reproduce this. This chain of thought data allows it to reflect on its thoughts and produce better results. Another thing that they have implemented, apart from that, is Monte Carlo Tree Search, or MCTS. Now, this can become quite complex if you try to understand, but in basic terms, in this case, what they are doing is that they are basically taking some probabilities of an answer and then making the AI think through that probability and give it a confidence score. Then, at last, we get confidence scores from those probabilities. And then we go through even more probabilities until we get a termination state, in which case the AI gives you the output. This basically allows the AI to expand its solution space without going through a lot of probabilities. This is used a lot in things like chess bots. Anyway, this model is based on the Quen 27B model. It's not based on the 2.57B model, which is a little disappointing, but it is still a great thing to see. They have also shared some details about the difference between the chain of thought and the chain of thought with MCTS, and the difference is quite significant. Another thing that was quite interesting mentioned in this paper is the fact that they literally add a text before each thought saying, Wait, maybe I made some mistakes. I need to rethink from scratch. And this increased the performance of the model in self-reflection and re-evaluation of its reasoning steps. So, this is quite cool. But now, you may be thinking that since it has a bunch of new technologies, Running it on your machine would be a hassle. Well, it comes as a surprise for sure, because it is available on a llama, and you can run this quite easily using a llama. Plus, because it's just 7B, you can probably use it locally as well. But to try it out for free with an API, you can just go to GLHF, paste in the Hugging Face URL, and it will get started. You can chat, or you can also use it as an API. Let's test it out and see how well it performs on my benchmarks. These are the 13 questions that I'm going to try it against. The first question is, what is the capital city of the country whose name ends with Leah? I'm referring to the country name here. The answer to this could be Canberra, or any capital of a country whose name ends with Leah. Let's send it and see. So, 
you can see the thinking part in this thinking tag, and you can see what it's thinking over here. So, this is great. Okay, it's now done, and this is not a correct answer. Quen is one of the models that is just bad at this question, because I believe its training data set is not very culturally nuanced. Anyway, this is a fail. Now, the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three because it rhymes with tree. This is a question that Quen used to fail. So, let's see. Okay, this is the answer, and this is correct. So, let's mark it a pass. The next question is, there are five people in a house, A, B, C, D, and E. A is watching TV with B, D is sleeping, B is eating a sandwich, E is playing table tennis. Suddenly, a call came on the telephone. B went out of the room to pick the call. What is C doing? The answer should be that it cannot tell because it isn't mentioned, or I'll even accept if it says that C is playing table tennis with E. Let's send it and see. Okay, and it's now done. So, this is not correct. Let's mark it a fail. Now, the next question is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. The answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is not correct either. So, this is also a fail. The next question is, is 3307 a prime? The answer should be yes. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's mark this as a pass. Now the next question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is not correct either. So, let's mark it as a fail. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's mark this as a pass. The next question is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is not correct. So, this is a fail. Now, the next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and if I run it, then you can see that this doesn't work. So, this is a fail. Now the next question is, create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. Let's run it and check. Okay, this does not work. Let's mark this as a fail. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer. And if we run this, then you can see that this doesn't look like a butterfly. So, this is a fail. The next one is, create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections, header, banner, features, and contact us. Make sure that the landing page looks sleek and modern. You can use HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and see. Okay, it's now done. And if we preview this, then you can see that this looks fine. So, this one's a pass. The next question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Here's the code. Let's run it and check. Okay, this doesn't work at all. Let's keep this a fail. Now this is the final chart. So, 
the result is not very great. But it isn't supposed to be a coder model. So, the coding results are something that we can ignore. In general questions, it performs well in some. But because the model is trained on a 7B model, the knowledge gets limited. And if it doesn't have the base knowledge, then the reasoning is of no use. But I did try to run it through some of the misguided attention problems, which are majorly focused on reasoning problems. And it actually did quite well on it. Like it solved the trolley problem correctly, and multiple other ones were also solved quite correctly, which is great for a model of this size. So, this is a great thing for sure. Plus, the data set is also shared openly. So, you can go ahead and fine-tune your own bigger model with the chain of thought data set, and it should also give you better results. So, I think that this is a great proof of concept and can be great for like an architect in something like Ader. So, it has its worth for sure, but just don't go on the hype on the internet that it is comparable to O1 or Sonnet. So just keep that in mind. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.